I thought I would try something different and use my laptop for recording and I had a nice tubby I had to do my evening video because I was guided to do so so hopefully this will work we'll just try it out so earlier today I was working through some emotions I had more I guess what you could call downloads where spirit gives you this wonderful information that kind of knocks you back down a little bit and humbles you and uh, sometimes this information can be a little bit upsetting and we have the capabilities to transform those emotions because that's really what transmuting is is, is taking those emotions and running those emotions through your body feeling it, owning it not distracting yourself, not trying to forget it or drown it in alcohol or drugs I'm not a big proponent on that but um, you know to each his own it doesn't it doesn't help you in any way when you take these emotions and and bury them because at some point you're going to have to deal with them so why not today <laughs> so I took this information that was given to me and spirit gives information to people in different ways it could be through a video it could be me it could be a youtube video it could be through just a knowing it could be through thoughts it could be through a song and then you have that aha moment the aha moment that you know <laughs> you weren't ready for but You could deal with it or you you could not deal with it in my life <laughs> at this time I'm learning to deal with it deal with things you're gonna have surprises you're gonna have people try to rock your boat they're gonna, you're gonna have people that try to come back in your life when they know that they didn't have good intentions before and things are hidden from you but this is what it's all about it's really about this is why I do my videos is so that you can connect with your creator to connect with God and be obedient to what his will is for you and trust me I've been very disobedient at different points in my life but my foundation has always been there I've always believed in a higher power I was fortunate enough fortunate enough to be introduced to this almighty God that I didn't really know although I did know you know we're veiled when we come into this world when we come into our lifetime to live out the contracts I guess you could say whatever we agreed 
to come here to do or to influence or to to change in ourselves and possibly in others just by your existence so I don't know how the microphone is on this hopefully you could hear me hopefully I'm clear but um, I feel very clean I have this big jar of coconut oil so um, it's a little bit drier here in Florida it's April it's not as humid so it's actually a beautiful time of the year and perfect weather but a little dry a little bit drier than I'm used to so um, So earlier when I had this download, and download is not anything mystical, it's basically spirit giving you information by whatever means you're comfortable with or what gift God has given you or gifts, many different ways, you know, or your ability to discern the information. A lot of it is confirmation of what I've already known. And so I stepped outside because a lot of times um, I like to have fresh air. And uh, I have this little sitting chair outside where I could just like, I don't know, argue with God. <laughs> I'm sure people have had that same experience and that's okay. They're okay with it. Our spirit team's okay with it. And, uh, you know, you, you might want to take that time when you were with your spiritual team to ask them politely, pretty please with a cherry on top, when you are going through the emotion because a lot of the times I find that when I ask a question the answer is ready it's almost answering myself sometimes if I don't want to take accountability that information is like oh yeah <laughs> that's a karmic thing you were the other person that possibly didn't have intentions in this particular situation or you didn't have the forethought to not hurt this person you know way back when so you know karmic balance the karmic stuff is real <laughs> I'm like oh yeah <laughs> and uh Spirit's going to remind you. And it's not a terrible thing. I know a lot of people right now, depending on who they trespassed, whoever they betrayed, um, or how bad their intentions were, how many warnings they were given, uh, they still disobeyed. They still chose the dark. They chose not to change. So, you have to accept that too for the other parties. Because sometimes you will have friends, those old connections that that did you wrong, right, that, uh, that betrayed you, that held secrets, that still held secrets, that refused to apologize, that refused to change, refused to take accountability. You know, you can really get angry 
about it and it's like just apologize or just you know speak some truth so as we get this information and it could have been yesterday it could have been a month ago it could have been years ago when this happened it could be happening to you right now Sometimes it's hard to imagine that the things that you or the people that you thought were had your back, that were close to you, that you put that energy into the relationship. It's hard to imagine that they've been jealous of you or they've been secretly not on your team that they didn't feel the same way that you felt in the relationship or the friendship or the work environment because your heart is so pure Or you wouldn't even consider doing that to that friend or that family member. So we can't really control or 100% understand, unless you're empathic. We have some really empathic people out there. So that's, um, that's another issue is when you can put yourself in other people's shoes and you've known the person and you know what they've been through first of all you want to ask yourself why are they going through hard times is it a coincidence is it is it their relationships are difficult, their family life is difficult, their jobs are unstable. It seems like they're getting beat down by life, left and right, from top to bottom. Is that a coincidence? I'm not judging anyone. Their health is poor. People are always fighting with them or they're always fighting with other people. They're always talking bad about their friends. And of course, you know, you're supporting them. You agree with them. It's like, oh, that person, forget about them. You know, or forget about that friend. They're terrible. You don't even know them. You don't even know their friend. But you're supporting your friend that's always getting things, like, handed to him or her. You want to look at that person and if you could really delve into why, why, why is, why. Of course, it's really none of our business, but it's a great way to learn how to discern how you're going to handle your own life and how you interact and who you interact with, who you put your time in. My kitty's over there sleeping while she's looking out the window. I'm trying to keep it as comfortable as I can for her. I've got all my stuff in this one room. so. I'm just happy to have her with me. So back to really using your discernment. And I'm going to get off the subject about 
why others, people with a, I'm going to just say like a lower, a lower vibration. That's really what it is. It's they, they choose to stay in a lower vibration because their refusal a lot of a lot of the times is not to take accountability to put blame on others instead of taking taking that accountability taking um, apologizing and doing the right thing telling the truth spirit works in very mysterious ways ways that's why you never really need to take revenge or be jealous of others or have those negative feelings because it, it you know those are thoughts um, and um, I want to share love I want to share joy I want to sh I want to put out those positive vibrations we have enough things in the news we have enough crime in the world I don't even li I don't even have a TV <laughs> I mean I have a computer but I definitely do not watch news and I definitely do not watch the local news and I don't I don't watch traffic reports I don't watch I don't because I, I can't do anything about that and it just it's not good it's not good vibrationally honestly most of the time I'm, I'm if I'm not reading something or studying something or learning something new or I mean we talk into others that have like-minded like minds uh, or even different I'm open to that um, different ideas different beliefs in myself I'm you know searching for different ways to develop myself if if not I'm outside in nature Yeah, so back to my story earlier before I took my bath, you know, because that really helps. Really, water does. Water, there's a whole science on that. Um, but water helps to clean and cleanse out all the negativity in your aura. Along with crystals and intentions, intentions that I set, but I'm having this conversation after things have been illuminated to me. And the process, because really that's, I'm trying to help you on your process of transmuting and I'm not saying that I have a perfect method, but I've been pretty successful. Pretty successful because I go to God. And a lot of people don't want to admit that. They want to say, uh, you know, they read a book or they had the, and that's fine, you know. Sometimes spirit and people don't want to discuss their spirituality then spirits could lead you to a book or someone that has a book that, to recommend. But it's all from God. God created everything. <laughs> God is everything. We could do nothing without God. I realize that. So I'm having an argument with God. Actually, my whole spiritual team, not... Not really an argument, but in those moments when your heart hurts, you want to start with bringing, asking your angels, your guardian angels, the archangels, if you need Jesus to come in, if you need whatever spiritual teacher to come in and fill your heart 
if you ask for it, if you really have those intentions where, you know, you're in pain, all you have to do is ask. And they'll come in and they'll fill your heart. They'll fill your whole body up. I guess that's what they mean by being filled by the Holy Spirit. It's very interesting. It's really, it's really such a beautiful dimension. So pretty much right away, I was able to feel better. And then <clears throat> and then sometimes your spiritual team will take you a little bit deeper. And I'm glad they did. Because sometimes we revert back to the blame game and this person did that and I can't believe they did this to me. And as soon as you start to think that, Spirit gives you an example of where you didn't make some of the best choices. And you say, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> but take accountability. Don't sit in the woe is me Everyone's against me. I've never, maybe not to that extent. And maybe it's also a level of uh, emotional maturity. Maybe it hurts more. Because it hurt, hurt back then when you were younger, for sure. You just don't remember it. But in the present moment, it hurts because we're older. And we think that we should have known better or we should have been able to spot the signs or we should have been able to catch on quicker, not get fooled. So we beat ourselves up about that. And so... I'm going to close this up in a little bit, pretty soon. Um, I always say that. I, I ramble on. I hopefully, hopefully this makes sense. But there's nothing more intimate with having being surrounded and taking that moment. And like I said, I like to be under the, the stars or I like to be under the sun. I like to be outside without my kitty licking over there, so. Um, there's just something about the energy, the environment of being outside and connecting with our, our spirit team, but it doesn't, doesn't have to be outside. I'm just showing you my process and where I know I'm better able to connect with God. So after this healing of the heart from the illumination that I was given, the energy was palpable. It was joyous. It was it was beautiful messages of what's to come. It's beautiful messages of what spirit has in store for me to have faith. And then I go back to, yeah, oh yeah, that's right, faith, I'm supposed to be having faith, I'm not supposed to be arguing with my spirit team. <laughs> it's really quite funny. And then, I know it's not funny, I know that some of the situations that people are going through right now, dealing with um, 
betrayals and and pains and hurts and and difficulties that other human beings are thoughtlessly exposing you to and being selfish and I do send healing love and light I pray that your heart will heal swiftly and at some point time on this earth <clears throat> tends to heal wounds and I hope that there will be some type of closure and you will act in integrity throughout the whole process. It's important. It's very important. Everything that is thought, everything that is said, everything that is done is 1000% done under God's eye, eyes. He doesn't really have eyes, but everything is seen. And I spoke about this before, and hopefully I'm not too repetitive in my videos, but if I'm repeating it, it's because God wants me to repeat it. So, sorry. He's my boss. <laughs> I just want to give you encouragement that you, whatever you've gone through, whatever you're going through now, whatever you're going to go through in the future, be just, just because, you know, you've discovered your spiritual gifts, just because you have your spiritual team, just because, like, you've overcome this one hurdle doesn't mean that we go the rest of our lives with no more challenges. That would be great, right? That would be great. No more challenges. Or we could have challenges, especially if you, the more you're aware, the more, that was a mosquito. Um... <laughs> I asked, I asked God earlier when I was outside that I don't want mosquitoes, rats, or snakes. I live near the water, so. Um, to, uh, <laughs> to be near my vicinity, so. <laughs> I guess they're working on that. I'll do a video about sending love to those that you feel have done you wrong, that have hurt you, that have betrayed you, that are cruel, that are greedy, that are jealous, that are envious, that talk terrible things about you. If you can't do that for the individual or the individuals or the group right now, I suggest, um, you know, just practicing doing an overall prayer for everyone in the world through all, through all space and time. And when you're ready, In the readiness, I promise you, the healing will come. I've been through it many, 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 many times. <laughs> so, I, it, <laughs> I, I guess God picked me for relationships in this lifetime, so. 
It's quite interesting. There's stuff that I've forgotten that he reminds me of. The archangels are pretty cool. I just wish I knew or memorized their, their names. I mean, I know the major ones, but, you know, just call on the archangels. Call on your guardian angels. They're very powerful, too. It's all God. Jesus is super cool. And I don't mean that disrespectfully at all. His energy is just so gentle. It's nice. So. Or whoever. Whatever spirit. Guide. Or guides. You. Feel comfortable. Calling on. It could be Muhammad, it could be Buddha, it could be any of the Hindu gods, it could be any of the ancient Egyptian gods. They're all God. It's just, they're all God. There's only one God, so. And a lot of, a lot of beings have mastered what God wants us to master. If not in this lifetime, maybe the next. So we're here to pray for those that due to their circumstances, due to them not willing to grow or change or ascend, ascend from their current vibration, their current way of thinking, their current way of doing things, their current way of how they treat people. We can't change that. And we're not here either to take on their karmic debt. That's why you got to be very, very careful. Very careful when you're in the thick of things and when yeah let me just leave it at that just be very careful how you get involved or if you even choose to get involved for me it's I'm on to my next cycle I'm I'm not the same person, and I doubt that you are either, because I could feel what you went through, because I've gone through it too. It's just, this time around, you know now, if you don't know, Ask yourself why you don't know about that spirit team. We all know we have guardian angels. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm the first one to tell you. I doubt that. But we got a legion of God and the, his legion of angels. Some, some of you are still going to be of and I don't think a lot of you especially if you're you're watching this video if you've made it this far I think most of you know that there is a higher power or you've seen some evidence of of a higher power oh god and all the helpers that he promised. If you haven't seen it, you've heard it. You had synchronicities. 
you've met people that have told you about their experience. So I'm going to really close this up. <laughs> and hopefully you liked my new little, I don't know if I really love my little camera phone. It's so nice. I don't want to take my computer outside. And then the, my, my cell phone's so convenient when I like to make content for you guys. All right, anything else? Okay, real quick. Um, the message is <clears throat> working on opening up your heart chakra, your heart center, especially for those who have waves of pain, waves of emotion because your spirit team is trying to get you to a place where if you hear information your heart doesn't like start pounding it, you don't get emotional you don't you know um, you don't get unhinged right or it's neutral that where no one can rock your boat so to speak So I'm going to do a video possibly tomorrow about opening up the heart chakra and I'll put that out there. But your heart center and it's going to be different for different people but I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll try to um, if, if, that's, if that's what God wants me to do I will, I will discuss that and you know, I'm not an expert on opening up the heart chakra. But I'm sure the information will come in as it needs to come in. So I hope this video helps someone out there and brought you peace and and gave you a little insight on how to spread love and heal yourself and bring positive energy in even during times of, of chaos or perceived chaos in your life and in confusion so I will see you on the next video. Peace.